Doki Doki Blue Skies is a Doki Doki Lyric Club fan mod that is not officiated with Team Zavada. It is designed to be played only after the official game has been completed and contains spoilers for the, for the official game. Game files for Doki Doki Literature Club are required to play this mod and can be downloaded free at Doki Doki Literature Club mod.com or from Steam. By playing Doki Doki Blue Skies, you agree that you've completed Doki Doki Literature Club. I haven't completed it, but I know what happened to the game, so we don't play games in the order, so I agree. Lastly, this mod contains not safe for work content, including nudity, which can be tur turned off in the settings. God, this game, this, this has become my favorite Doki Doki mod. Screw exit music! <laughs> Well, alright, hello, all of you, two lay money's Wild Boy 5699, and welcome back to another Doki Doki mod for Doki Doki Blue Skies. Uh, this is a brand new mod, I think one of the more newer mods that was released. I think it's back in June or July. It's a new mod, I checked it out. I haven't seen too many play, people play it on play it recently. Uh, I've only maybe seen one or two people play it, and that was like in the live stream for YouTube, and I thought, hey, this one looks really cool. And um, this is good. we're gonna check this game out. Uh, I'll do one apologies if my voice is being really, really quiet. It's like 9:45 at night, and I'm extremely tired. So I'm gonna record this, edit it, and get it uploaded, and then go to bed. God knows by the time I probably get this uploaded, it'll be close to midnight. So it depends on how long the video is. And it could be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. I don't know. But I did want to point out, like I said in the, in the opening video, that this. From the looks of it, this is going to be it. This is going to have nakedness and all this. I do want to point out, just in case anybody calls the FBI on me, every single character, even in the original Doki Doki Literature Club mod, every character, Shiori, Yuri, Natsuki, and Monica, they're all 18, so absolutely fine. The only thing that, the only close thing I got to see with nudity and Doki Doki was exit music, but that was like a, sh a naked shadow, like HBO shit. But anyway, a brand new mod. We're going to play this one. This one looks really good. Uh, settings. Uh, censor nudity. No, no. I will censor it, but I want to see the movies. So, anyway, this is Doki Doki Loose, guys. Let's begin. Enter your name. C O L T O N. Double check. C O L T O N. Let's jump into it. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. What's this? This shouldn't be possible. Why am I here? How am I here? Did you bring me back? I don't see any, any other explanation. Why have we already established there's no happiness here? So, why? Dot dot dot. Oh, why can't you look at the script? Something's wrong. You didn't do anything, did you? Do you not? Don't you understand? You're trying to mess things up even more. How did you? Wait, I know you installed a mod, ha haven't you? That's why everything's been changed. Don't you think this it's time to let us all go? What? You want everything to be like it should have been? But dot dot dot. You really care about them, don't you? I wish. Never mind. If you really want to do it now, do it. I won't stop you. I've been fighting to take control of this game again. But if you want to play through the mod then, well, let's come with the mod control. So, do you want to allow, do you want me to allow this mod to activation? Yes. Uh -huh, I knew it. Colton, or whatever your name is, I truly hope that you can find happiness with your choice. Sigh. I lay in my bed mostly staring up at the blank white too. Last night was dreadful. The sound of thunder kept me up for hours. But today is another day, I guess. Let's just hope that it's at least a bit better. With another sigh, I begrudgingly drag myself out of bed, grudgingly begin the monthly my daily routine. Get my drink. <sighs> Making my way to the kitchen, I hardly rummage through the cupboards looking for something to eat. Unfortunately, there's no tasty homebred breakfast awaiting me. Ever since my parents' divorce, I've been living off whatever I find in the kitchen. Oh man, I love my mom, but she's always taking business trips abroad. Oh, poor kid. So for the most part, it's pretty much just me at home. It's lonely, but I manage. Although I do miss the smell of bacon and eggs in the morning breakfast. M morning breakfast used to be a family thing. Dad would read his newspaper at the kitchen while Mom would stand up over the stove and fry her sunny side up side up eggs. But all that feels a long forgotten memory. Well, at least breakfast is ordered out a column of tea. Not exactly the best to start the day, but it'll do. I do my own shopping to Mom's sniffer home, but I usually stick to buying bare necessities. This. Ease of premature has slapped me out of the urge to cook a meal for myself. Although with although my food quickly finished, I head out the door. At the very least, the weather looks much better than yesterday. Clear skies beats thunders any day of the week. Damn right. I still lost still lots of my thoughts when I noticed the familiar face. It's Yori. We have quite a history together as children. We're basically irrescapable. Always exploring, get up to mischief, driving our parents wild. Typically, things we young child children do really. At this time went on, especially in recent years, we slowly started drifting apart. In fact, 
I haven't probably spoken to her in a long, long time. It's a real shame after all, we share a lot of fond memories with each other. I'm surprised to see her up so early. A couple of times I glanced at the classroom window and only see her already walking around the school. We used to walk to school together, but although she was sometimes a little late to meet me, I never really minded. As we continued to drift apart, however, her lack of opinion, something become more frequent than I just started to be because I walked to school alone, which meant a lot of which meant that although I did get to school on time often, I was quite lonely. Knowing her, she has possibly gotten more and the more more and more lazy with time. After all, her dedication sleeping being more unaware. Uh, oh well, still, I always enjoy talking to her. Hey, Shiori, haven't seen you in a while. How you been? She looked a little surprised at my appearance and question. I suppose I can't blame her. Oh, hey, Cole, I wasn't expecting to see you. That makes the two of us. You're up early today. <laughs> she laughed softly and misplaced blue in front of my face. I've been alright, though. Not a whole lot has changed recently, you know? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Life has been pretty routine these school days. These days. School's kind of meant, although. I guess that could be, could be worse. She nods and we both resume walk to school. Although I can talk to her just fine, she was still an awkward air between us. I guess that's a given scene, uh, scene out of this is our first proper conversation together in a long time. As we carry on, we make it idle small talk, a certain thought hits me. Anyway, this might come across a bit out of the blue, but seeing you gives me, here gives me an idea. Oh, well, it's been a while since we walked to school together. How about we start doing that again? Eh. Would you really want to do that? I'm not very fun to talk to. I'm always late. I found it's really strange to hear Sierra say this, but you know, I always know more badly, bubbly, cheerful personality. Sorry, that's definitely not true. Well, the bit always being late is true. I've always loved hanging out with you, and I think we have a lot, a lot of fun again. Besides, I missed you, and I've missed you. I I'll even help you wake up on time if you need to. Was that a bit too far? I don't know. I've never been in this sort of situation before. I mean, we are childhood friends together after all, right? Really? Yeah, really. I missed you too. Well, let's do it then. From now on, we'll walk to school together, okay? Okay. Ah, there's, there it is. The classic Sierra smile I grew up running. All the, me all the memories I have of this day are featured smile. No matter what we adventure, parks, playgrounds, forests, that smile would follow. The innocent childlike of adventures used to have its place for cheer. That's long gone. But maybe we could smile together anyway. So, what have you been up to lately? Oh, you know, the usual. Hmm, you mean games, anime, and manga, right? Yep, pretty much those goals without saying, huh, Colton, you haven't changed. <laughs> Are you saying that I need some change? No, no one's perfect. There's always room for improvement. Especially in that case, I'm going to part of the go, of the go home club. And that cuts a little deep. What do you want me to do? Join the soccer team and tip, trip everyone? Or every, well, I think it's a little exercise good. Well, I think a little exercise is good for everyone. I'm very offended that if you're trying to call me fat right now. <laughs> well, you don't have to join sports club if you don't want to. Yeah, that was actually checking out the anime club. Yep, anime club. Well, how'd you get that suit my hobby? I does suit my hobby stuff. So. Told me you should try branching out a bit more. Okay, Miss Club Expert, if you're going to criticize all my club choices, what do you suggest? Well, it just happens that there was a club I'm in. Oh, really? It's called I'm actually the vice president. Well, I did not expect that. Dang. So do you go take place in the Ed divisions, huh? I'm um, kind of. The club only goes four members at the moment, but it's really fun. We are looking for new members right now. So that's so that's why she brought it up. Only four members sounds like you guys are just starting out there. What's this club anyway? It's the school's very own literature club. I intentionally got a long sigh. Her face drops. I don't think she was quite reaction she was hopeful. In my defense, literature has never been quite sure my interest unless she can't manga as literature that is. I know it, you don't have to join you don't ha you don't want to join. I understand that many people don't like reading. Hey, who said that I didn't like to read? I love reading if you count on manga. I muttered that last word to myself in Twister Yard. On the plus side, she already lets me sheep with it. You know, you sound like someone I know from the Life Club. She talks about manga all the time. Oh, really? I'm actually interested. I'm actually interested in this club, though. Sierra smiles gently. Can't take us showing her inactive. If you're looking to club to join, I guess the Life Club is good. Any place to start. That's great. You should come by sometime. And by sometime, you're hoping me for the day, aren't you? Eh, the sooner the better. Alright, I'll take a look after school today. Yay, thanks. Although we should be hurry up, don't want to be late now, baby. Yeah, you're right. Within a few minutes, we have rabbit school interest, interest amidst the cloud of, cheer, of chattering students. We wave goodbye as we head off to our separate classes. I have securities in the morning, so I'm fairly confident what the, what the next hour won't be so bad. Who's Sierra? Sakuri, you might ask? Only one of the coolest, most down to earth teachers we have in the whole school. Being on the young side himself, the, the experience of high school is fresher and is by some teachers, especially the older ones. He gives a smile as I open the door. Morning, Colton. What's up, teacher? How are we doing today? Not bad, sir. Same old, same old. How about you? I feel like I finally started the model of the 20th century history today, so needless to say I'm excited. 
that's the best kind of history. I'm not, like I said, I didn't, I didn't know a lot of school, but like I said, history was my favorite subject. I love especially like war, uh, the war wars, like World War One, World War Two, Pearl Harbor, uh, the downfall of Hitler, Hitler and all that, especially like not events that happened 100,000 years ago, but events that happened like 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago, like World War One, Two, Pearl Harbor and all that stuff. That's my favorite type of art. The movie I really suggest if you really want to check out anything history, it's a foreign movie called Downfall. It's about the last 10 days of Hitler. And it's basically, if you've ever seen those Hitler parodies on YouTube, that's what that movie is. I have the movie. It's a really, really, really amazing movie. I definitely worth sitting through. I definitely recommend it. Or well, finally starting off. To, oh, I, I read that. Oh, yeah. First World War, Nazi, Nazism, Second World War. All that's a best part of the subject. You bet. I waited all you did for this to start. Oh, man, you guys are a real treat. I'll pay attention. I'll definitely pass. I did when I got that history. He's so enthusiastic about the show. Believe that the enthusiasm really makes learning the history much more enjoyable. Combined with the fact he's fairly relaxed, especially when it comes to homework, you can see why he's so popular. Although he does have a strict side, of course that side of him comes by every now and then, so he isn't a pushover. By a large, he's into the respective students for striking by the balance. I just wish that all of my te all of my teachers were friendly and made efforts to know students better. Oh well, I take a seat in one of my classmates, Emmy. Smiles and waves. Emmy. That's close to Emily. I've had bad flashbacks with Emily's away, but Emily Way 3 coming out. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. I will play it, though, but I got the good ending in Emily's Away 2. Maybe, well, maybe, I don't know how it's going to pick off in Emily's Away 3. He hasn't given a release date, he said. It's supposed to be out on Battle of the Summer, or just in August, so God knows when it's going to come out. Bouncy and energetic, she has a reputation for her skills in the track, though. Even when she is a runner, she's still pretty, pretty much ball of energy. Hey, yeah, uh, it's a new character. We have these solid franchises that get along to well, but we really don't see the times outside of school. How you doing, Emmy? Training was really fun today. Oh, she always keep she always on the hunt for recur donkey. Not the suitable hints. Yeah, we're always looking for new people, so I know you aren't part of any club, so you should totally join us. It's funny that you mentioned I'm not part of any clubs actually. Hmm. I think I'm gonna check out the literature club after school. Uh -huh, I didn't really think you were a poetic type, but if you really get bored of writing poems, you know where to find me. How many times do I have to tell you that? All right, guys, let's make a start. It's um, it's almost cr it's almost criminal that I haven't waited so long to teach my favorite century. You and me both, brother. Well, that school lesson's over. The school lesson's over. As I linger behind in the classroom, gather up, I hear the door open. It's your hi again, Colton. Hey, the literature club meeting today, right? Yep, I was just heading there. There, there. Do you want to still come along? You betcha. Sorry, it seems to perk up, looking excited. I still want to come along to the club. Look at you, finally doing some extracurricular. I mean, if you're vice president, it can't be all that bad, right? She giggles, making me smile. That's the story I love to see, not the sadness and crying spirit. Each individual member, club member, makes it special. Everyone works hard to have fun together. Well, let's not keep them waiting. It'd be rude to show up late. I want to make a good first impression after all. Uh, I guess you're right. Come on, it's right up this way. There's a the end. I follow Siori down the hall, which she seems excited. It's nice knowing that I'm making her day at least better. The stairs lead up to the section of the school that I recognize as the third year wing. She always leads me off to the classroom and she knocks on the door. But, uh, trust me, you're gonna love it. She definitely, she's definitely enthusiastic about the club, and that's for sure. She, after seemingly one way, the door finally slides open. Da, da, da. A small pink haired girl peeks out. Natsuki! Siori! She freaks out further. Hey, Natsuki! Guess what? I found someone who wants to join our club. The girl who appeared to be called Natsuki slowly turns the glare to me and narrow her eyes. She opens the door slowly behind her. Behind her, I see another girl sitting at the desk, very staring at the book. What? Hey, wait, Siori, Siori practically purchased Natsuki. Siori practically pushed us not to get out of the way. She seems to be the truth to the rest of the club members. Hey guys, I want to introduce. I want you. I want wanted to introduce you to our new member, Colton. Hold up, Siori. It's a, it's a bit quick to call me the new member, isn't it? I then noticed a third girl peeking behind a bookshelf in the corner of the classroom. Can it be? Is that Monica? Monica is one of the most popular girls of this high school. Everyone seems to flock her because she's smart, beautiful, athletic, out of my type, thick. I don't know. You name it, she's got it. Unfortunately, to me, she's completely out of my league. She looks at me with the first stern look, completely gets up, and puts down the questions of her. Oh, cool, what a nice surprise. That's a weird angle. Welcome to the club. The girl who has face bearing the book suddenly jolts up, looks at me. She quickly snaps her book shut, timidly moves to join the conversation. Oh, a new member. My name is Yuri. Yeah. Holy crap, it seems I've lucked out. Now only Monica's in the club and a bunch of other cute girls. I'm glad that someone can join this club instead of the anime club. But yeah, you could have a bunch of fat smelly guys in there. 
<laughs> enough of God and Colton. But enough God and Colton. Stop staring at Stop talking. It's nice to meet you, Yuri. Like Yuri said, I'm Colton. I smile at her and turn to Monica. So it sounds like you and Monica know each other. Is that right? That's right. Great to see you again, Colton. Monica smiles through basically the same shit she said in Doki Doki Lich, but we do know each other, but we we'll rarely talk. But if we were in the same we were in the same class last year, it's kind of strange to say, but having her smile at me still just me feel a bit starstruck. The power of the school idol. You too, Monica. So are you guys in the club with the four of you, huh? So you already told me about you were looking for new members. Uh -huh. Well, actually, I've actually been trying to push for more members for a while, but we haven't had any luck recently. Ah, uh, Siri did say, my words dry up my mouth as nice Nikki shuts it, uh, sh shoots me a piece in the way. She looks pissed at me, but for whatever reason, I don't know. I haven't even really had the chance to sit beside walking and say hello. Hello, Natsuki. Sorry, you brought a boy? Yep, he told me he wanted to join this morning. I'm not sure if that Siri being an airhead again, but I don't recall promising that I joined. Great. Now Tiki glows us falling her arms with irritation stuff. I don't really know what to get there. <laughs> Sorry about Natsuki. Nazi That's just how she is. She's a little standoffish to new members. Oh, it's nothing. I don't mind. Hey, I'm right here, you know. Sorry, sorry. I've been trying to make a good impression, though. Come on, Natsuki. We need new members. If you don't feel like being nice to Cole, can you at least be nice for me, please? Jeez, you don't have to make such a big deal out of it. That's a weird angle, too. Fine, fine. You're gonna make me big. I guess I had no choice. Hooray! Right, thanks, Natsuki. Looks like... I'm the, I'm the something of the group is now. It's almost commando. I wish Natsuki fits. I had to accept to where Natsuki fits the truth. Well, maybe the view or which clouded by enemies and floats there. Anyway, let's get the conversation back on track. Uh -huh. How'd you come to learn the literature club? I have to admit, I'm a bit curious myself. Uh, so you already said, so you already now we're just walking to school and she mentioned this club name. Since I was sort of looking for a club, I figured I should check you guys out. At the same reach, Yuri was really enthusiastic about the Lurch Club. So, one of the pieces of Yuri and she here just gets your ass in a good job advertising the club. I see. Well, I think it's a great place to start. After all, books can be very incentive. Yeah, it's super fun. I think the club place not only where feel comfortable lately. Sorry, face falls for a moment. She quickly picks herself back up. It's somewhere I can just sit and read and hang out with plants. I think you summed up the club pretty well. After all, I started to bring Jack together. Like minded people who love literature. I'm really happy how it's turned out tomorrow. It's very cozy. But enough introduction, why don't we take a seat? Why don't we take a seat, Colton? Did you bring anything to read? Although I, as she asked that I realize I'm not much of a reader, much less who loves literature. To be honest, I haven't thought that very well with doing a club forces that focuses on reading will be the very best of me. Uh, no, I didn't have, I don't have any books on me at the moment. I just haven't seen any good titles recently. I lied through my keep over Monica that's a seat but I obviously don't read much, but if they but if they believe that I do, hopefully it will read the like people like that. Oh well. We have plenty of books here if you want to check out what we have, I'm sure you'll find something that matches your taste. Is that so? I guess I'll head over there, maybe some something will catch my eye. I start to sweat nervously as I walk awkwardly over to the bookshop. There there looks to be go a good variety of books available range from fiction, genre, from horror to fantasy all the way down to non fiction. Seriously, I turn towards Yuri and Natsuki. Here we go, Jews. I guess we'll choose Natsuki. Uh, so do you have any recommendations? I take a closer look, although to my surprise, I noticed there's a rather extensive collection of manga on the bottom shelf. When I glance up back at the girls, I notice Natsuki staring down at the manga, manga too. Or I suddenly mean she looks away blushing. Well, wh what do you like to read, huh? Honestly, just read manga from most of the time, so the collection down there caught my eye. I didn't know that manga was allowed in the classroom like this. Uh, those are actually Natsuki's. Don't just say it like that. I just put them where I was recognizing the closet. Thought, Monica always messes always messes with my collection when she goes in there, so I'm trying to make a little more space for them. As she says this, Natsuki shoots. Monica Loki smiles sweetly in return. Which series do you have? I read a lot. I read a lot, but I don't think I can recognize any here. Most of the books finds very different in the color with big blocky letters around the top. The Boston Maid, The Rice Ball Basket, Orange High School Nightclub, I never heard of these towns before. Like, Who's Parfait Girls? Parfait Girls was a big part of the Doki Doki Nature Club, and so was the Naked Movie. The problem, the pro that probably means either of them are in a different de 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 demographic, or they're simply terrible. Terrible. If, you if you're going to judge, you can you can go through that glass on, on you can go through the glass on that door. She, she simply turns to the points of the class and goes, Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. I could tell just by your expression. But I tell you one thing, Colton. Consider this a lesson strict from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Amen. In fact, 
Natsuki stomps over to the bookshelf, elbowing me out of the way, and pulls a very pink book out of the box. Set. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She something shoves the right book into my hand. Ah. I stare at the cover. It's the first volume of the series title, A Parfait Dress. It features four girls in colorful, colorful, artistic, striking, animated, feminine poses. It's extremely mo. Well, don't just stand there. What? Natsuki, have you considered that maybe Colton might not want to read this? Excuse me. Who do you say that Colton likes or dislikes something? I quickly break. I quickly break into try to relieve some. Some of the teacher. Oh, thanks for your concern, Yuri, but I'm definitely, definitely open to trying out new things. But I don't usually read the stuff, but I'm willing to give it a try. All right then. Now, so you can try me smirks a bit while Yuri Abash just looks away. I guess I can't satisfy everyone. I have thoroughly spent the spent enough time in the literature club to not judge a bit by its cover either, Yuri. Manga can be just as deep a story lines as not as your novels. I never said that. It's just Yuri looks like she's holding herself back from saying anything. It's just what just because they have pictures in them, they're childish or something. Well, there's a reason why people say pictures worth a thousand words. Sometimes there are things the best best to describe art. Manga blends both good in art and random facet facet stories. Plus, being able to actually see the characters help you really to emphasize what they're naturally. Yuri thinks to herself, looking a bit curvy. I see. I just meant manga is a bit unorthodox as a medium. Well, manga is literature too. It's obvious the two girls have their differences. Yuri apparently come uh something be some of these words I've never heard until recently. Good lord. Miniature and Tim, she has a hard time keeping up for like Sayori and Natsuki. Meanwhile, Natsuki seems a lot more forward and outspoken. Although she looks like the youngest in the club, she clearly has a passion for her, about her hobbies and others are. Anyway, this will be your homework for today. I'll let you borrow volume one for the night for the night and you can start the next book tomorrow. But if you smudge or bend it, I'll kill you. How's everything going out here? Fine, Mr. Voorhees. Good, because if you screw up, I'll kill you. Uh, so, you don't have to worry, you don't have to worry too much, I'm pretty protected in my manga too. Is it really alright if I borrow such, I say that almost we don't plan on spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would, it would take forever to finish if you're only right in here. I might fall behind on some shows tonight if I can get through this. Yeah, I'm gonna miss a lot of pen and tell bullshit tonight. You need to shut the fuck up! But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Nazi people close the ass like this. Or am I just scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Okay then. The girl on the cover and the manga beam up, beam up at me. I can't help but shiver a bit. I guess I should underestimate what high school girls are into. Hopefully I can get away with skimming through it. Make sure you read it thoroughly, because I'll be quizzing you on it tomorrow. Is she a mind reader? In that case, I'll think I'll give it a shot now. Actually, I want to make sure I have enough time to finish it reading after all. Fine. But I'll keep a close eye on you then. I slid into a nearby desk as the rest of the girls sat, sat moving to the work on their own thing. I quickly start flipping through the pages. Given that pay, pages take up majority of the space of the pages of the, of the manga, it doesn't take me long to get through the beginning. As I read, I start to want, will become more aware of the Nazi key sneaky peaks in my direction. She seems intentionally focused on my face and going to see the reaction. I clear my throat. Um, Nazi key, do you need something you totally... Really, you totally seem to really like looking in my direction. I feel a smile that creeps through not like he's here straight she blushes fire in response. You idiot! It's not like I was looking at you or anything, I was just staring into space. Don't you have anything better to do? <laughs> yeah, of course. With that, Natsuki heftily turns away into the secret of the ancient closet, where a lab room is the floor. I guess I should keep reading then. As I turn, as I turn, it turns out the perfect girls was just imagine I thought of it. It's basically about a bunch of girls in high school and their cutesy hijacking themselves into it. Typically slice into love affair. Not. I don't know why, but like, remember that show, kind of like high school girls, like, I don't know. Yeah, I've recently been watching this show called Totally Spies. It was like a show on fucking New York, like in 2002. I used to watch the shit out of it. And it was about these dumb, stupid girls from Beverly Hills <laughs> and uh, becoming spies. And uh, one of my favorite movies, and Satch could have reviewed the movie, and I bought like season I bought season three on YouTube, and I reached not season I bought the season three DVD, and I bought season two just today on eBay. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare Ryan to be entertaining to make up a lack of thought. To its credit, it does manage to sound birds and enemy truth is put in the YouTube. The more I read, the more I can see why it appeals to not to keep. All that talk about creation of art. While I don't exactly read romance manga, usually the the artist actually does a good job pushing the girls as their own characters. I often find the girls in the stories bland and un 
unoriginal, not to mention that they're all for something on the same face syndrome too. So it's a pleasant surprise to see the Tyler characters are likable and unique in your list. I call the spies. Still, over the time I can't help but up, but grow a little bit through though. I decide to finish it up and later place my novel on the back. Looking at my softly spot, spot I look a softly spot, I spot Sierra reading something, might as well see what she's up to. Standing up with a stretch, I make my way over to take a seat next to her. Hey, how's it going, Siri? What are you reading? As I sit down, I know she looks quite content. Nothing much, just reading some stuff for my school for my school for a school project. What about you? You seem to really into that book. Oh yeah, it was a good read. At least as far as I can tell right now. I can't help but I wish sounded like a more I can't help but wish I sounded like a little more enthusiastic. That's great. So how do you like in the club? You're not bored, are you? She looks at really worried, her, her cheerful person on the planet for a moment. Where did, where did that question come from? It's a bit too early to tell how I feel about the club. Of course not, Sierra. Sure, I haven't been here for a long time, but I sort of managed in your So open my eyes for new stuff. I've never been a huge fan of reading, but I'm confident that your club can change things. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're involved. You don't want to, if you, you don't want to join a club, you don't have no interest, right? That's a goddamn truth. I know what you mean. Like, I think reading will grow on the inside. Actually, you mind if I sit with you and read? Okay. She looks at me clearly surprised. I didn't think she was expecting me to sit with her, but none, none of the less, she seems happy. Her smile is infectious, lifting to my spirits too. I will be great, Colton. Yeah. <laughs> We read for a while, which turns out to be trying to feel quickly of our conversations being a connection from our chat to walk over to school. It's nice to just sit and talk with my childhood friend. I wish I had a childhood friend. Who have thought guessing reconnecting would be so easy? I haven't felt this connection for as long as I remember the good mood reflected on her hair, given that she was recently uplifting the bubbly. I don't know what about her that makes me so at ease. Well, wow, we've been talking, we've been talking, talking for a bit, haven't we? Man, I don't even realize the time. And I guess we've been talking for a while. I can see, I can see why you come to literature club so much. There's, this is a really welcome and easy vibe. Must be a nice change of pace after how the heck of the school day can be. I was hoping you say that, Coleman. It really is. I'm grateful for the others as well. They're really helping make the club the way it is. I can't help but notice Nazi King and Yuri seem to be very different though. Do they argue much? She looks a little downcast in my question. Sometimes, yeah, but thankfully it is an option. Awful. I consist that the topic isn't like discussing. Well, that's normal, I guess. I guess Monica seems like a great present, but she must be very proud of this club. Just then, Monica gets up from the desk and faces the classroom confidential. Speak of the devil. Okay, everyone, I hope we're all having a good time so far. That there's a good moment, moment of silence storm, which everyone seems to be glan glancing at me. Do they know I need a response? I'm honestly having a great time. Cause I'm having a good time. Having a good time. I saw that freaking meme. Of uh, the song by Don't Don't Set Me Out by Queen, and it has Yuri raising her eyebrows and getting ready to stab herself. <laughs> I laughed too hard, up uh, there shouldn't laugh at that meme. I, I laugh. Thanks for the warm welcome, everyone. Well, it's great to hear that. And it turns out not to keep big some cupcakes for the club too. Yeah, yeah. I know. I was about to make an announcement, so let me get them. Let's go sit over there, Colton. Looks like there's some room at the desk for all of us. I something follows Yuri over there to where the rest of the girls have pulled the cupcakes desk from the table. How about I make some tea as well? Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray over Yuri's clo closet. Feel feeling a bit awkward, I opt to take a seat next to Yuri. If the conversation starts to die out, I can always try to save you. Meanwhile, Natsuki proudly marches back to the table to tray in my hand. Okay, are you ready? Hada! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal the dozen, to reveal the dozen white fluffy cupcakes that look like little cats. At least we get to see what they look like now. The wizards are drawn I think little pieces of the chocolate or make ears. So cute. I had no idea you were good at baking out to keep well, you know, just hurry up and take one. A lot of this, I don't know if it's gonna be, be like Doki Doki, but a lot of the stuff I'm recognized, especially in this part of the game, is a lot of the stuff is still the same stuff. So I don't know what it means. So is this a prequel? I have no idea. So he grabs the first one, the Monica and I fall. It's delicious. You already take a little nap and always manage to get icing on her. I turn the cupcakes around uh, around on my finger, looking the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet, full of flavor. If she made, if she made it all by herself, this is seriously impressive. It practically tastes professionally done to me. But then again, it's not like I have done the most distinct taste of that. These cupcakes are amazing. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you better thank me because it's still hard work to do. Yeah, it really seems like. Did you make them by yourself? Did your parents help? Hey, what's that to the most of me? Are you saying I could have done it by myself? Uh, no, it just seemed professionally made. 
I was wondering if an extra baker helped you. I wish my dad was a baker. Just because I don't bake for money doesn't mean I can't I can't be good. You're right. Sorry, I've just stuck a cook myself, so I'll be bound to be wild by like good cooking. I guess I should I should count myself lucky that I got to try your cupcakes today, huh? Uh huh. It's not every day I have I have the time to bake, so be thankful. The expression not simply practice is bow down before me. Uh huh. Are you expecting Colton to protect? Prostate himself before you? Looks like Monica had the same thought. Uh, you can't blame Natsuki for bragging a little, though. I would, I would too if I made this. Exactly. Natsuki smiles gratefully at your. Uh, Natsuki smiles gratefully at your say. Meanwhile, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea tea. She carefully places the teacup in front of each other before setting the teapot down in the cupcake tray. You, you keep the whole tray set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gives us permission. After all, <laughs> it doesn't help. Doesn't a hot cup of tea go good with a book? Uh, I guess. Eh, don't let yourself be intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. It's not. Embar embarrass Yuri looks away. I meant, you know, don't worry about it. I believe you. Tea and reading might not be the best before my come on past time for me, but I can at least appreciate tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow that smiles at me. I'm happy you took the time. And you, I'm happy that you look like you're enjoying yourself, Colton. As president of literature, it's my duty to make fun and exciting for everyone. Oh, that reminds me. I've actually been meaning to ask you something, Monica. How can we decide to start your own club? You could probably be the board member for any major club. Aren't you a leader of the bait club last year? Uh huh. Well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the political major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing the budget of publicity to prepare for any events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make it special out of it. And if it encourages others to gain the ledge club, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is really great. It's a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised that there, aren't more, there aren't more people in the club yet. But I get. But I guess it must be hard to start a new club since everyone probably sells to their own activities already. You can put it that way. It can be hard getting, to get people invested in things that are brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes the school events like cult culture festivals that more important. Speaking of school events, I don't think I saw your club at the club fair at the beginning of the year. Uh -huh, that's because I haven't started yet. Oh, I guess that explains why you don't have any hymns yet. You know, we missed the opportunity to draw the first year who hasn't been found clubs yet. It's a lot harder to advertise person by person bias. And like you said, a lot of people have already known extra career like you by now. But even so, I'm confident that we all really grown this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yep. We all do our best. You know it. Everyone is everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica and I must work really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're also delighted by the idea of a new member joint. Though I don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. By the way, I know everyone on here likes reading, but you guys write as well. Actually we haven't really done any writing together, funnily enough. But do you guys but don't you guys discuss books then? Uh -huh, you could say that. Sounds more like a normal book club than a literature club. To be honest, I was kind of expecting to do all stuff like poetry together. At the word poetry, Natsuki not, not jolts back. Do you, do you not like poetry, Nat? Po poetry? Poetry. What? I don't really have an opinion on it, I guess. Oh, really? With a sly smile, Monica gets up, rummaged through her book bag, and returns a loose note paper in her hand. I happen to have a poem called, Hey, where'd you get that? Natsuki springs up a snatch of paper, and Monica's <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't steal from your dad or anything. You dropped it on the hallway the other day. I was going to return it, but I couldn't, I couldn't have you teasing before I did that. Well, I appreciate if you kept your nosy nose out of my private work. Ah, uh, duly noted. I'm sorry, I couldn't help glancing over at the poem when I picked up. Your writing style is really cute now, Tiki. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just cute as you are. Sarah slides behind and puts your arms around her shoulders. I'm not cute. Hey, there's nothing to be ashamed of. So do you write your own poems, not Tiki? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I just think it's pretty neat. Why don't you share them with the club members? Not, not if everyone's going to call me cute. Like Siri said, there's nothing wrong with being, being cute. You know, uh, you wouldn't get it. There's nothing wrong with trying to get on with feedback and just have them say, it's cute. Wrong just from the word cute. Uh, I guess I didn't think of it that way. Yeah, no one does it. It's super annoying, you know. Actually, I believe I understand how not to keep you. Not to keep surprising your interjection. Sharing with the level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to one itself. You must be willing to open up your readers to exposing your something show the deepest race of your heart. And while it's all dismissed, the single mark will, suffice to say, greatly is great. It can greatly discourage from you from your writing work. 
It sounds like you both. It sounds like both you and Natsuki have right experience in common here. Maybe. Um, although I don't speak for Natsuki. Gee, that's fine. I pretty much agree with what you said. So, a brief moment. Monica falls silent as well to reflect on the conversation. Hmm. That gives me an idea, everyone. We all quizzically look at Monica, who smiles. No one bit back at us. If we have members who are legit for criticism, their pro their poetry. How about we do one? that here. I'm sure we can all trust each other to be respectful, but I think it's fun activity for all of us. Eh, I don't know if I come up with sharing my own po old poetry. I didn't write to, I didn't write one to be read to public, so yeah, same here. It's fine. We can just go home and write new poems to begin tomorrow. I was going to suggest that anyway, since I don't think the rest of us has poetry ready this year yet. Um, yeah, that sounds awesome. I think about learning poetry would be really fun. Mm -hmm. Now you know we have a new member. I think it'll help us get a little more comfortable with each other in the strain at the bottom of the cup. Isn't that right, Colton? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. The Literature Club has been very welcoming so far to release the initiative of the I know they'll have to start a brand poem to see if we can fair price paid or spend our time with these beautiful women. I have my doubts. I have my doubts at first, but given how friendly and welcome these girls are, I don't really see anyone who I should be doing that. But yep, looking forward to becoming better friends with all you all. Then, then it's official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Thank you, Monica. Yes, I'm so happy you joined us. Sir, I'm so happy you me jumping up and down. Hey! And thanks for playing along. <laughs> she whispers the last time I can answer, she would that I never agree to join me again. That sneaky girl. All the serious and most enthusiastic, all the girls I love about happiness. I would have been super pissed if you let if you just left here after eating my cupcakes. I'm very glad you're staying as well. Okay, everyone, I think that we can finish today's, today's meeting on a good note. Don't forget to, on tonight's assignment, write a poem, bring the next meeting so we can discuss the session. Monica looks over at me once more. Colton, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress Monica with my medical reading and writing skills? Someone tells me, some tells me no. Geez, I can already feel the anxiety rolling up inside me. Oh, well, it's not like Monica's going to be hard as an actual literature puzzle, all right? Meanwhile, the other girls continue to chit chat and you're exactly telling it to do. Hey, Stiari, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Do you want to introduce all these pain people? At the least I can do it for her. Sure, let's head home. With that, the two of us waiting for make our way home. Damn, I think this is longer than the part one of the first couple of the Literature Club. On the way back home, we just discussed the events of the meeting, focusing practically on each club member. As we do so, my mind wanders between them all. Stiari, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. I'm excited to hang out with everyone from now on. Perhaps I'll even have a chance to go closer to one of them. Alright. I just need to make the most out of my first circumstances, and I'm sure I'll go forward to find them. And I guess that's our for the poem tonight. We ran the poem. Whoa. Oh, that's cute. It's a little flashback. It's a little... Thank you. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. That would be cool. Okay. I think I'm going to write, write this poem, and I'm going to end the video. I'm going to go... I can either choose... The same, basically the same as part as the original Doki Chupi Chub, the Yuri, Natsuki, it's Yuri. I really like Natsuki a lot, she's really my favorite. So I'm gonna, she may be able to read the right words. I'm gonna save it real quick. And then try to, maybe it's the same words. One, no. Good thing I saved. I know that's one of them. That's one of them. That's one of them. No. Strawberry one? Strawberry has to be one. Yep, okay. Ooh, shopping. I can see that as Natsuki. Anime. Waterfall? Mm, lucky? No. Mm, to get, no. Skipping. Bouncy. Email. Anger. No, I got one for Yuri. Ah, uh, Papa, I know that's a Yuri one. No, we gotta get really careful. Where to go? I'm gonna redo that just to be on the safe side. How do we go back? Oh shit, how do we- Oh, did I fuck up? 
Oh no, we're good. Okay, we can start again. Okay, scare me for a minute. Rox is one of them. Cute is one of them. Joy is not one of them. Boop is one of them. I think analysis. That's Gary. And damn it. Shit. One more time. I do this every goddamn time. So let me try again. Seven hours later. Okay, I think I got it, but we're gonna save it. Again, be on the safe side, and I'm gonna end the video here. What do you guys think of this game so far? It seems interesting so far about the same stuff. It was pretty much the same stuff in the original Milky Milky Rich Club, but it said it's a not safe for word game, so God knows what's gonna happen. Like I said, all these characters are 18. So, thank you guys a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you rate my thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check my social medias down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching, and I'll see you, see you all in a future video. Take it easy.